Drop a like and do share. Leave your comments and do not forget to subscribe for more videos. Let us proceed to our topic aromatic hydrocarbon. In the last topic we have studied about the structure of benzene and the aromaticity. In this uh, video we will study about the preparation of benzene. Okay. So first method is decarboxylation of aromatic acid. Okay. So benzene can be easily prepared by heating it with sodium benzoate with uh, soda lime. Okay. So sodium benzoate is uh, this structure. Okay. And if we heat it in presence of soda lime that is NOH plus CO, okay, then this uh, carbon is removed okay along with this two oxygen atoms in the form of sodium carbonate okay next is by a reduction of phenol okay the benzene can be prepared from phenol by distilling it with uh, zinc metal okay simply if we add zinc metal and heat it at high temperature and pressure then this uh, and this oxygen will be removed and we will get a benzene molecule next is the properties of benzene so first is physical properties so benzene and its uh, homologous up to the eight carbon atom they are colorless liquid and they have the characteristic smell that's why aroma that is why it is also known as aromatic compounds and they are immiscible in water but they are soluble in other organic solvent and uh, they also have got very good uh, solvent property so uh, they are also used especially the benzene is used as a solvent in various uh, organic chemical reaction they are also inflammable and they burn with soothing flame that is aroma and they are toxic and carcinogenic in nature carcinogenic means cancer causing okay and the melting and boiling point of aromatic hydrocarbon they increase with increasing molecular mass because uh, van der Waals forces will increase if we compare the isomeric arrange that is basically the ortho meta and para okay then uh, the para isomer they have got the highest uh, melting point because of its symmetrical structure for example let's compare the ortho meta and para xylene xylene is benzene with 2 ch3 that is xylene if they are adjacent to each other then it is ortho position that is 1 2 is ortho if it is 1 3 position then it is meta and if it is 1 4 position then it is para as you can clearly see that this is the most symmetrical and uh, the melting point it is function of the symmetry because they will fit together so they will have that in ortho meta and para para is going to have the highest melting point okay the reason is symmetricity dear friends let's continue our chapter aromatic hydrocarbon so chemical properties of benzene so in chemical properties we will study about the electrophilic substitution reaction then we will study about its mechanism and then we will study about addition reaction first of all let's see the electrophilic substitution reaction electrophilic means that there will be an attack of electrophile that is electron loving and substitution means attacking group will attack and something will leave out here in this case is uh, hydrogen so electrophile will get attached and hydrogen will be removed okay so first is nitration so in nitration basically the hydrogen atom will be removed from the ring and a nitro group will be added so this reaction is known as nitration and it is carried out by heating benzene with a nitrating agent 
so here the nitrating agent is concentrated HNO3 and concentrated H2SO4 okay when we heat the benzene molecule with a nitrating agent here in this case is concentrated nitric acid and sulfuric acid then we uh, NO2 is attached and H will be removed next is halogenation so in halogenation again hydrogen will be removed and a halogen atom will be added for example fluorine chlorine bromine and iodine so this reaction will be known as halogenation because a halogen is being added so we need a halogen gas okay and then a Lewis acid like uh, anhydrous FeCl3 AlCl3 uh, FeBr3 etc okay so finally we will get a hello benzene here in this case it is uh, we have used uh, chlorine so we get chlorobenzene and then H will be removed in the form of HCl next is sulfonation in sulfonation again the hydrogen atom will be removed and SO3H sulfonic acid group that will be added okay and uh, how it is being carried out it is like we are heating it with fuming sulfuric acid and oleum so fuming sulfuric acid is basically H2SO4 plus SO3 that is the fuming sulfuric acid okay and we get this final product as benzene sulfonic acid next is fiddle craft alkylation in fiddle craft alkylation basically H is removed and alkyl group is added okay in this we will use an alkyl halide and anhydrous AlCl3 and finally we will get a alkyl like in this case we have used ethyl chloride so we will get ethyl benzene next is fiddle craft acylation in acylation basically the CS3CO group will be attached to the benzene ring okay so how it is being carried out is we use the acyl halide or acid anhydride and we use Lewis acid as a catalyst and then finally it should be anhydrous else uh, it will not give the reaction okay uh, the if water molecule will be there then the water molecule will attack this uh, Lewis acid ALCl3 okay and this molecule will not break so benzene attack of acetyl chloride with a catalyst anhydrous ALCl3 will get acetophenone now let's analyze the mechanism okay so mechanism is very simple okay so it will be in this stepwise mechanism it, it is not the one step process it is a three step process first of all there will be generation of electrophile then the electrophile will attack the benzene ring and the formation of an carbocation intermediate will be there and finally the removal of proton will be there so that aromaticity is again restored so first let's see the generation of electrophile you can refer the previous chapter reaction general organic chemistry in which we have discussed all these things in great detail electrophile nucleophile etc okay and the stability of carbocation and all okay if you have any doubt you can just go and uh, refer those videos again okay so let's see how the generation of electrophile is happening over here for example we have taken the chlorine and then an anhydrous AlCl3 okay so this will chlorine they have got uh, the lone pair and there is a vacant orbital so chlorine will donate its lone pair to this uh, aluminium 
and then a polarity will be developed okay and finally it will break so cl plus that is the electrophile because it is electron deficient its octet is not complete okay so it will be produced and then this electrophile is going to attack the benzene ring okay so we have shown electrophile by e plus okay so benzene ring they have got the pi electron cloud so it will attack this electrophile okay and then plus charge will go to the aromatic ring okay so this is being destabilized okay so hydrogen need to be removed so as to restore the aromaticity okay and when these plus charge that comes into the ring then it is known as sigma complex and this plus charge it is being stabilized due to resonance okay that's why this reaction proceed further else it would have not proceeded further and reverted backward okay so as you can see when this double bond shift here and plus charge over here then again it will shift over here then plus charge will go to there and finally this will be the resonance hybrid okay that is the aronium ion okay and because of this uh, resonance this sigma complex they get stabilized and then finally in the last step this H will be removed so as the aromaticity is restored okay so this uh, ALCL4 minus it will attack this H okay and then this bond will shift over here so to form the double bond and the aromaticity will be restored thank you